The first MP3 player went on sale in 1998. The MP3 data format was developed by the Fraunhofer Institute in the Bavarian city of Erlangen and was patented in 1987. Engineer Bernhard Grill was part of the team that invented MP3. He continues his research at the Fraunhofer Institute to this day. The MP3 technology reduces digital music tracks to tiny data packages. The trick is to outsmart human hearing. According to psychoacoustic research, people don't consciously perceive most sounds. Even if just 10% of those tones are transferred digitally, shown here in red, a person won't notice that sound has been lost, and that has revolutionized the music world. This is the very first MP3 player, really, the first ever. It's a device we built as a prototype in 1994. This is the memory where the music is stored. In 1994, it could hold one minute of music. When we made the MP3, we were really ahead of our time, but it proved more complicated to install. In 1994, leading manufacturers were still telling us it was so complex it would never be part of any consumer electronics, that it was only something for professionals. But today, MP3 players are in demand around the world. Some can now hold hundreds of CDs worth of audio files. More and more music is being downloaded from the internet. In 2008, 26 billion songs were legally downloaded in Germany alone. This internet Around 1996, music labels were still saying, Internet? What's the Internet? No one has it at home. It's something for freaks, for eggheads, and will never become a mass market product. Today, just 13 years later, previously unknown groups are putting their music on the Internet on platforms like YouTube. Such an opportunity was unthinkable before MP3. It helped launch the careers of many acts like British band Arctic Monkeys. And MP3 is a big hit in clubs as well. The turntable is mostly just for show now. The music actually comes from a computer. But for Bernhard Grill at the Fraunhofer Institute, the search for the perfect sound continues. Now he's working on MP3 surround to find the optimal spatial acoustics and is once more trying to outwit the human ear. Researchers are reducing the amount of data required to digitally transmit this surround sound by a hundredfold. This Human hearing and the mind that interprets what's heard are calibrated to concentrate more on first perceptions. So it's enough to fool the ear into thinking that a sound comes from a certain direction. Where it actually comes from is another story. We use similar tricks in MPEG surround, so I can reproduce a pretty perfect impression of space with a really small data rate. Using normal stereo headphones, users can watch films on their MP3 players with true surround sound. It's just one application of this new technology. MP3 surround is part of the researcher's vision of the living room of the future. Here they've set one up as a trial. People communicate as if they're in the same room, even if they're thousands of kilometers apart. Yes. <laughs> Let's see what's under here. How often have you played this with your kids? Never. Never? A directional microphone hidden in the lamp, a camera, speakers and a telephone, that's all that's required to hold a video conference. <laughs> The whole thing goes back to the roots of MP3, because it's about transmitting sound. But the special thing about this procedure is everything happens so fast, you can really communicate. There's almost no delay in the voice, yet the signal remains small. You can transmit it over any kind of line, even a wireless one. There's virtually no time delay, so it can be used in telephony. When it comes to MP3 surround, researchers from the Fraunhofer Institute in Erlangen are still leading the way as the search for perfect sound continues.